from Washington. This is VOA News. Protests in Egypt bring travel warnings to U.S. citizens. Barack Obama makes his first visit to South Africa as president. I'm Vincent Bruce reporting from Washington. Backers and opponents of Egyptian President Mohamed Morsi traded gunfire and threw firecrackers during brutal street fighting in Alexandria Friday. Riot police moved in with armored vehicles and tear gas, but not before the offices of Mr. Morsi's political party were set on fire. Authorities say two people have been killed, including a U.S. citizen stabbed to death while taking pictures of the riots. The State Department has issued a travel warning for Egypt, telling Americans to put off non-essential travel there. Some embassy workers and their families will be evacuated. More details at voanews.com. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry met separately Friday with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, Israeli President Shimon Peres, and Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas. The discussions were part of the latest push by the Obama administration to get the sides back to talks on a two-state solution. Before their meeting, Mr. Perez thanked Kerry, saying he had already created a good environment for discussion. Your investment in creating really the right environment to open the peace. If I can leak one thing, I believe you have already created this environment. U.S. officials had nothing of substance to say about any of the talks. Kerry has gone out of his way to keep details of the diplomacy private. While he says he's not putting a deadline on a return to talks, Kerry says delay allows a vacuum to be filled by people who don't want things to happen. The passage of time, obviously, uh, has the ability to wear out people's patience and to feed cynicism and to give people a sense of impossibility where there, in fact, is possibility. Kerry is to meet Mr. Abbas in Jordan Saturday and return to Jerusalem for talks with the chief Israeli negotiator, Zippy Livni. U.S. President Barack Obama is in South Africa, the second leg of his three-nation tour of Africa, to promote U.S. trade ties. Mr. Obama and First Lady Michelle will formally be welcomed in Pretoria on Saturday by South African President Jacob Zuma. The two presidents will hold bilateral talks, and President Zuma will host a state dinner in the evening. During a media interview ahead of his arrival in South Africa Friday evening, Mr. Obama linked the legacy of anti-apartheid icon Nelson Mandela, whom he met briefly in Washington in 2005, with what he believes is the great potential and promise of new generations of Africans. He showed that when you lead with integrity, when you're more concerned about uh, you know, what is right than simply being in power, uh, you can uh, perform miracles. You, you can bring about incredible change. Mr. Obama played down expectations of a visit with Mr. Mandela, who remains hospitalized in critical condition. Winnie Mandela, the former wife of Nelson Mandela, says his health has shown great improvement over the past few days. She spoke to reporters on Friday. From what he was a few days ago, there is great improvement, but clinically he is still unwell. Officially, the 94-year-old Mr. Mandela remains in critical but stable condition. The United States Senate has passed landmark immigration reform legislation, and now the spotlight shifts to the Republican-led House of Representatives where the bill is expected to face stiff opposition. VOA congressional correspondent Cindy Sane reports from Capitol Hill. To become law, the Senate bill, which creates a path toward citizenship for 11 million illegal immigrants, must pass in the Republican-led House of Representatives. House Speaker John Boehner has made clear that the bill, as it stands now, is dead on arrival in the House. We're going to do our own bill uh, through regular order 
and it will be legislation that reflects the will uh, of our majority and the will of the American people. Many of Boehner's fellow House Republicans are more focused on tighter border security and finding immigrants who have overstayed their visas. Members of Congress are heading home for a week over the July 4th holiday. When they return, Boehner says House Republicans will meet on July the 10th to discuss the way forward on immigration. Cindy Sane, VOA News on Capitol Hill. According to the Gallup polling organization, surveys show the people in the three African countries U.S. President Barack Obama is visiting have lost some faith in American leadership. I'm Vincent Bruce, VOA News, reporting from Washington.